Okay, so we're going to do feel the feelings now. So, um, feeling the feelings is the process whereby we're just going to let go of identifying uh, with the thoughts and we're going to allow any, uh, I use the word feelings. I mean, you can, you know, like to make it simple to start off with is not 100% accurate. It would be like, uh, you know, trying to feel feelings in, bod in the body and just be with those and allow those and stop any sort of identification, any labels or any stories that happen uh, while one is allowing those feelings to be experienced. Actually, it's not feelings. Even a better word than feelings would be energies or vibrations because even the word feeling uh, gives the connotation of, uh, of form so, um, and tends to get the ego trying to label different types of feelings. So the, but I use the word feelings because it's easy, but actually it's, they're, they're, it's more like energies or vibrations, just allowing those. So you might, st you might start off with feelings in the body, but actually feeling is a label, so it's just energies, and just allowing those. Now this is the way I sort of describe it. It's like, so you start to slow down and you become aware of maybe there might be a tightness in the stomach, or there might be feelings in the feet, or some tension in the head. And as soon as you become, you know, a thought will emerge in consciousness like, oh, I forgot to do the shopping, you know. So as immediately as the th thought arises in consciousness, just detach from that thought. Just detach as quickly as possible and just be with whatever energy or feeling is here. And as soon as you're with the feeling, again, another thought will emerge, like I, for I forgot to buy the dog food. So just detach with that food. And what you're doing, as you're detaching from the mind going off into thoughts is just, you're just allowing the feelings to be, you're allowing the energies to be, and you're spending less and less time in thought. And what you're learning to do is catch thoughts quicker and quicker before they go off into a story. So in the beginning you're just trying to be with the sensations or energies, and then a thought emerges and you're in your head for like a few seconds on the shopping list or whatever, but then Next time it starts, you try and detach from the thought even quicker and just be with the energies. So in the, in the beginning, you might spend a lot of your time in thought and less time just allowing the energies and feelings to be. But as you practice over and over again, you'll be able to detach from thoughts quicker and quicker and be with the energies more and more. Uh, so that becomes easier. Remember that if you're identified with thoughts, you're, in a, in a sense, you could say you're resisting feelings. You're resisting being with energies. So thoughts are like distraction from just being with what is. So the less time, the quicker and quicker you can detach or disidentify from thoughts and just be with the energies. Now as you find that you're with whatever it is that you're experiencing, just be with it and just allow it, then you, you'll start to notice it'll start to dissolve. And as one layer dissolves, another more subtle layer may come up and just be with that. And as thoughts emerge, attach and just be with those, and that starts to dissolve. So you're just l dissolving layer after layer of whatever is, is arising in consciousness. Don't label, don't, you don't need to make a story about it. Thoughts, you know, just try and detach from thoughts as soon as you get lost into your, into your story. And just allow everything to evaporate off. Um, some people report that even as they're doing it, they still seem to have a subtle kind of, they, they call it the supervisor, some kind of still layer of the ego, still there trying to make sure you're doing it properly or, or whatever, second guess it. You can even switch that off, it's not necessary. The process eventually intuitively takes care of itself without any ego thinking or even subtle thinking or unconscious thinking or subtle awareness, so you don't, you don't need it. It will just allow yourself to be with what is. In the exercise, do I deliberately bring up an issue that's troubling me? No, um, okay. no, so no. Just you're, not, you're, not, you're not mentally doing anything. Okay. So you're just allowing whatever energies or vibrations that are here just to be experienced without mentally trying to orchestrate anything, do anything, or... I mean, you, I mean there is another version of doing this, but that would be a different, but we're not doing that for the time being, but there is a different version where we could do that, yes. Okay? Yeah, I thought we did that last week. Like, yeah, you can, yeah. There, there is another version where you can think of a situation and bring up the feelings and then 
let go of the situation and feel the feelings out. Yeah. That, that, that is another version. I think we did that last week. Yeah. yeah. That's another possible version. Yeah. Okay. So, should we do this for about five, ten minutes and then see how we do? And then we can take some questions.